John James Audubon by Margot. John James Audubon was born in 1785 and died in 1851. He was an artist, but you could also call him a naturalist or scientist. He was best known for his book, Birds of America. He also invented a way of posing birds that looked lifelike called bird banding. He was born in Haiti on his father's sugarcane plantation. His father was a naval officer and his mother was a chambermaid. He always loved birds and felt drawn to them. When he was 18, he came to America to escape being drafted into Napoleon's army. When he arrived in New York, he caught yellow fever and was cared for by Quaker women who taught him English. When he recovered, he worked as a taxidermist. Then he then started painting birds. He was trying to paint all the birds of North America. Sometimes he would spend 15 hours a day doing sketches before he actually painted the bird. One time, he had stored 200 paintings at a friend at a friend's barn and they were all eaten by rats. He married Lucy Bakewell and had four kids. In 1812, he went into debt and was thrown in jail. He gave drawing lessons for a little extra money. His style evolved a bit over time, although he always used watercolor. His earlier works were more mechanical and rigid, and later they were more smooth, round, and had a natural flow to them. In his later works, he would go back and add chalk or pastel to make the feathers look more realistic. When he was doing Birds of America, he invented bird banding. When he was making his book, he would destroy all of his drafts and only keep the best one. His book has over 400 paintings. About five or six of the birds he did are now extinct. That's one percent of his book. When he was doing his book, he would try to paint a page a day. It, it took him 14 years to do Birds of America. His work would not get published in America, so he went to England and everyone in England loved him. He died of Alzheimer's in 1851 at the age of 66. He planned to go back to the West and record some species he had missed, but died before he got the chance, leaving behind 450 paintings. One of the paintings I really love is called Snowy Owl, 1831. Snowy Owl was probably painted in his later career because of how soft the feathers look. In this painting, I think the cloudy background really makes the owls pop. I feel this painting could be a scene in a movie because of how the owls really dominate the painting. Another of his paintings I love is Carolina Parakeets, 1829. Sadly, these birds are extinct. I think all the busy color makes it look fun and playful just like parakeets. They look like they are just having the time of their lives telling funny jokes and playing. John James Audubon was a very interesting and important painter. I chose him because he is not only an artist, but, a na but also a naturalist and scientist. He also lets us know what some extinct birds looked like.